All right, guys, we are back in our video here, and this video is the Stanley Cup event. I was right, and yeah, it's disappointing. I mean, it is. Let's just be honest right now, guys. It's disappointing. I'm upset, and I'm going to explain everything about this event and how it works, all right? So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Let's hop into the video right now. Basically, here's the event. So right here, we have the first four MSPs. So Yarmir Yager, Kyle Connor, uh, Philip Grubauer, Brian Leach. So yes, let's talk about it. Brian Leach, guys. Brian Leach, this is his second Master Set player item of the year. He got one last month. I mean, what are we doing here? How is the same player getting an MSP in the year? And again, it's a month apart. Like, he just got one. I, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it at all. I just... Whatever. Let's move on to the next thing. So, here's the event card. So, each playoff team gets one card, all right? So, here's how it works this year. They upgrade on series wins, not on actual game wins now. So, for example, if you lose in the, in the playoffs, they're a 90. They're not moving at all. If you lose in seven games, hey, GG, you're 90. You know what I mean? Um, basically, uh, it's, it's going to be 98 max for these cards. If they win the Stanley Cup, like say uh, the Stars win the Cup, Harley would be 98 overall. If you won the Con Smythe, he would be a 99 overall. The Con Smythe winner gets a, a plus one. So the funny thing is, what if these players don't win the Con Smythe? They probably won't. Let's be honest. Most of these players aren't going to win a Con Smythe trophy. No offense. Uh, none of these players are like, you know, the stars of their team here, but I, I just don't really, I don't get it. Very much so a head scratcher. Again, it says it expires April 26th. Hopefully that means that, I don't know, we're getting a new event or something. I don't know. I don't know. But here's all of them again. Lindgren, Sorelli, Palmieri, Jarvis, Coyle, Tarasenko, Domi, and Gustafson as well. Uh, then the objectives here as well. Uh, right here it says the week one objectives. So you get two power-ups for completing all of it. I uh, get some event collectibles, three, four. Uh, six, and you get some more power-ups, so two, three, four. So you get six power collectibles total for completing all of the objectives here. So, yeah, I mean, just not really that exciting. Uh, those are the objectives here. Uh, let's look at the moments here. I didn't look at the moments at all, I'm going to be honest with you, but here are the moments. I'm assuming they have moments, right? They usually do for every event. Um, there it is. Las Vegas Knights Stanley Cup run interesting i mean that's a cool idea play all 16 wins what do you get though um so okay oh boy you win every game base pack one gold player two gold thousand coins base pack two gold players three gold players thousand coins base pack three gold players tell me you get something at the end please tell me you get something at the end um four gold players 2k three gold players four gold players three event collectibles that's here guys uh basically you need to trade in 15 collectibles to get the power version of these cards here. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's not an unreasonable amount, right? Like of, uh, you know, of collectibles to get their 86 power up. But this is 70 collectibles to get one random Stanley Cup playoff player. So, you know, you look at the collectible sets here. It, now you can trade in 91s. You get 30. If you trade in 191, you get 30 collectibles. So basically it essentially costs... 291s gets you 60, and then I guess you could fill in the rest. But essentially, 291 is going to get you that one random 90 plus Stanley Cup card, which I just, I don't know. I feel like that's a little bit crazy expensive, but that's just my thought process at least. Um, but that's how the sets are working for this event. Your packs here, you have your Stanley Cup playoff choice pack, the greater chance at pulling a Stanley Cup player. So those are the odds on it 90 plus 53%, 86 plus 57% here. You have your Stanley Cup playoffs pack, 20 players, all 80 plus overall. The greater chance at pulling a Stanley Cup player. Those are the odds on it, 95 plus 2%, 90 plus 11%, 86 plus 22%. And you have your playoff starter pack, untradeable, 10 items, a guaranteed Stanley Cup power-up player, and two power collectibles. So again, this is the 86 version of the card. It's not the fully maxed out version. Keep that in mind as well. Uh, then you also have the playoffs mix pack. So it's 15 items with a guarantee of five players, the greater chance of pulling a Stanley Cup player from week number one 95 plus one percent 90 plus is four percent 86 plus is eight percent so uh, those are all the packs and now let's look at the actual cards 29 collectibles the fully max amount power collectibles that is uh kyle connor here with 96 excel and speed he gets playmaking forward uh, two-way forward sniper forward checking boost he gets playmaking boost agile dangly boost and shooting boost so he already has max shots so definitely choose a different synergy other than that puck on a string elite edges one t unsolvable force and goal make it snappy. I mean, it's a good card. It really is. It's a really good card, Connor. Max out shot. 
Great speed. Um, he's a good card. I mean, 6'2", 179, really nice build. Uh, then you got Philip Grubauer, a 6'1 goalie, which I don't really ever really trust, but checking boost, playmaking boost, shooting boost, along with defensive boost, agile dangling boost, accelerator boost, and speed boost. He has silver post to post, butterfly effect, x-ray, showstopper, and gold light work. So decent abilities on Grubauer, at least. That's the very nice thing about Grubauer. Then you got Brian Leach, who, I mean, he gets he needs to get a card every event at this point now. 6'1", 190, left-handed defenseman, two-way defenseman, defensive defenseman, offensive defenseman. I mean, it's an incredible card, obviously. I'm not trying to say this card's bad. Uh, he has speed boost, agile or dangler boost, accelerator boost, and shooting boost. So he can either have 99 acceleration or 99 speed. Uh, he gets elite edges, wheels, tape of tape, shutdown, and gold heat seekers. So very nice abilities and really is a great card in general. It, it really, really is. This card is absolutely phenomenal, guys. Uh, I just don't believe you got a duplicate MSP. Yarmir Yager, 6'3", 254. He's a big boy. Uh, he's got playmaking forward, power forward, sniper forward, along with speed boost, agile dangler boost, accelerator boost, and checking boost, max out shot, and he also gets 98 speed. So that's very good. He's got the elite, elite edges, puck on a string, tape to tape, make it snappy, and gold unstoppable force here on Yager. Very, very good card here. I mean, that's... That's, that goes without saying. They have so all the Stanley Cup just event cards. I'll kind of just quickly go through them here. Tarasenko, that's kind of what he looks like. I'll kind of just flash the synergies quick for you guys. But, I'll put, you know, one T, puck on the string, elite edges, make it snappy. You got Fiala here, playmaking forward, sniper forward, agile, dangler boost, and shooting boost. Wait, is that the same? No, okay, I was going to say. I've been kind of ridiculous. But uh, elite edges, angle breaker, shock and awe, and snipe. Uh, that's Fiala. Then you got Domi with speed boost, 93 speed, checking boost. Enforcer forward, you actually get up to 95 speed. It's actually a pretty decent yo uh, I almost said Yomi. Domi card. Uh, but he gets back at you. Elite edges, puck and a string and truculence. Heronic here. These are bad cards here. I mean, I'm not trying to like just like you know trash everything here, but shut down, tape to tape, elite edges, and gold thunderclap here. Uh, then you got Jarvis with 92 speed. I do a dangler boost, sniper forward, playmaking forward. Uh, he's got elite edges, shrug it off, make it snappy, and puck on a string there. Then you got William Carlson with speed boost, shooting boost, so 93 speed on him. Sniper forward and two-way forward. So it looks like they at least try to make these cards somewhat usable uh, because if they don't go up at all, that would be brutal. Puck on a string, elite edges, tape it tape, and gold, make it snappy. Then you got Sean Monahan with 91 speed, sniper forward, two-way forward, shooting boost. He's got beauty backhand, close quarters, tape to tape, and gold magnetic. Then you got Anthony Sorelli with grinding forward, two-way forward, checking boost and accelerator boost, tape to tape, puck on a string, elite edges, and gold, no contest, 90 speed. Charlie Coyle here, 89 speed, that's tough. Sniper forward, power forward, accelerator boost, and speed boost. He's got unstoppable force, big tipper, tape to tape, and goal close quarters. 89 speed is just really tough. Middle stat, 6'1", 195, left-handed, agile dangler boost, speed boost, sniper forward, playmaking forward, make it snappy, tape to tape, shrug it off, and then you got goal puck and a string here on middle stat, Nyquist, 5'11", 180, uh, shooting boost, checking boost, sniper forward and two-way forward, 93 speed and excel is nice on him though, no contest, magnetic, unsolvable force, and goal close quarters. Stuart Skinner here, 6'4", goal, he could be pretty decent. Uh, he gets butterfly effect, post to post, last stand, goal showstopper. Uh, those are the synergies real quick on him as well. Then for the last few here, Eric Gustafson is a Rangers choice. He's got accelerator boost, shooting boost, two-way defenseman, offensive defenseman, elite edges, send it, quick pick, and gold seeing eye. Uh, 90 speed on him. Kyle Palmieri with 92 speed, with speed boost, checking boost, two-way forward, sniper forward, total eclipse, big tipper, no contest, and goal close quarters. And then you got Harley with defensive boost, shooting boost, two-way defenseman, offensive defenseman, shut down, elite edges, tape the tape, and then gold seeing eye. So, I mean, decent, but I think crazy. And then you got Lindgren here, 6'2", 179 with accelerator boost, speed boost, and then checking boost and defensive boost, silver showstopper, post to post, butterfly effect, and gold light work. That's all the cards for now in this event. What do you guys think of this event so far? I'm extremely, extremely underwhelmed by it, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik get three E's, and be sure to join my Discord. Talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.